Okay, it's uh, quite a bit later <laughs> than it should have, should have been, but I had stopped to make a phone call um, because I'm tired. I'm going to tell you I am so tired of rude people. Okay, really. You know, somebody who works, you know, whether, no matter what it is, somebody like who's in a position of authority and they, they want to talk over the person, that's what happened to me. I don't appreciate that at all. They're not worth more than I. You know, they may be in their position, in their own position, have a hierarchy, but I'm not part of their hierarchy. Okay, <laughs> and their job, I don't work there. I'm the customer. Okay, now if we're gonna talk hierarchy, which I don't play that totem pole, I don't play the totem pole game. But if we were, I'm the customer. Now, and the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems lately, is be quiet, close your mouth, and listen. Don't talk over me. Don't answer something I'm not asking because you're talking over me and you're not listening, and you just want to hear yourself talk. If I'm asking you a question, be quiet and listen to the question. To the actual question. Not what you're assuming is going to be the question. Oh, I cannot believe the arrogance of people. So many of them, it's, and it's quite often, in my world, it's pharmacists. Not pharmacy techs, it's pharmacists. They won't listen. Sure, you're probably overworked, underpaid. Well, I don't know the underpaid, but you don't have enough staff, something. That's what I've noticed too much. So it seems like they just don't have enough staff. That shouldn't be the customer's problem. You shouldn't be so stressed out that you want to just hurry up and not answer the, the questions to the pharmacist. I've known one that's good. One that doesn't do that. And yeah, this is, I think, because I had complained. And there was a whole story behind that. Yeah, but not about that one. Another one. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. Why can't people be quiet? Just be quiet. Your words are not all that until you know what your words should, the question is to answer. You could save a whole lot of time that way, too. A whole lot of time. If you just keep the mouth shut and listen to the question. I'm serious. I I'm, I'm also have the same problem with healthcare professionals. You know, the actual doctors or nurses. This They won't be quiet long enough to listen to the question. Seriously. I mean, if you just walk up to a place and you start to ask a question, they interrupt you mid-question. You haven't said anything at that point. This is what you're, you're there to do. And we're going to, they're going to interrupt you? You go to the doctors and you, they say, well, what are you here for? You start to answer and they interrupt you? What the crap? Well, what are your symptoms? And you start to say, and they interrupt you? You can't finish the sentence. See, like I just said, you can't. What the crap is this? How? That, that to me is total, total lack of professionalism. That is not a professional. Then trying to complain? Oh who are you going to ever get to speak to? There's going to be the scapegoat. I mean, not the scapegoats. The, <laughs> well, it probably is. But the um, gatekeepers. Yeah, that won't let you. And then the, you can't find a manager. The, yeah, and then if you do, you're going to be called a Karen. You're going to be thought of as a Karen. That's racist, sexist, and ageist, by the way. Yeah, calling somebody a Karen. Because think about, who is it usually? White middle class women. Seriously. Anyway, but that, that's, that's crap. To, you know, if you don't complain to somebody, is the problem ever going to get fixed? I mean, some people can't think beyond what they heard in some kind of mantra or some rule that you do, you know, that is put out by people who are probably ones causing the problems. <laughs> Seriously. But no, how is the problem going to get fixed in something like that? You can't tell me this has never happened to you, or maybe you can. You have this perfect person. This is not just perfect, in, you know, just one time. This is consistent in my life. Seriously. 
whatever pharmacy I go to, doesn't matter, the, it, different chains, different whatever, at least well, one of them actually was the one that told me um, what it should be, but no, it's not going to be in another one, mm -mm, nope, mm, no, it's like, oh my goodness, really? Okay, I want to add a little more to this. Boy, was I not really upset because I've said this so many times before that I'm just tired of it. You know, don't worry, I'm not going to go postal or anything like that. But what can you do? I, I, sometimes I travel outside of here, this area. You know, this area has a reputation for this kind of thing, basically. And I travel. <clears throat> wow. Well, let's see. Besides losing my voice. Yeah, I travel outside of it, like, you know. Um, 10 miles, 10 and a half miles, something like that. And a world of difference. But it takes a while. So, to, to, if you, you wouldn't think 10 miles, but it does. And it's just ridiculous, seriously. The way that some of these places, you know, no place should have a reputation, but it does. You know, because not all people in that area behave that way. But this one has a reputation of people being too... Uh, basically narcissistic okay what some would call narcissistic anyway it's just too much and it's really not just you could just see it in different little places every once in a while not everybody of course but um but I'm so tired of it and then so anyway I got home and I was still upset and I was thinking of going to the other another location I decided to call them first and the one that actually gave me the information in the first place, well, they were wrong. And let me tell you the difference, okay? 18, it, I was told at this this other place, $18 for this item. I don't know if I mentioned which one it is. And the one I was at today, she told me if they had an order, it was going to be $54. Now, I was told 18 originally at the other place, like a month ago or a few weeks ago. Then here, 54. But she said, but if it would be the other ones, it would be 13. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. So, well, I could get this at a nut, totally different chain for 39, which is what I did last time. <laughs> and they're supposed to be cheaper than them. So, then I called this place today. The first one that told me that it was going to be 18, I think. And she looked it up. She goes, "Well, we have we only have this one, and it's it's um, uh, what was the price? I think it was thirty something. I think it was the thirty eight or something like that. So eighteen, <laughs> thirteen, eighteen, fifty eight, thirteen, eighteen, thirty eight, thirty nine, fifty four. I think really." Well, you see, I mean, imagine this kind of stuff happens on a regular basis. Like any time I have to deal with something, okay, seriously, it's gonna be some screw. Something's gonna be screwy. Something, pretty much every time. Of course, not every time, but pretty much. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. 